behind me for a minute. Um, but this is the house of Oaksey. Just stunning, stunning sunshine. Cotswold Stone, beautiful village. And this, down this little lane here, is the house. Such a beautiful house. So we'll just ring the bell. is all at the front but it is really pretty I'm just going to take you around the garden it's just lovely you know if you want roses over the door then this has roses over the door just take you around here to the other part of the garden roses over the garage and this garage has loads of potential it has potential for an annex but I'm going to do that last so around the back here is the parking for this property so you can see you can fit a couple of a couple of cars in there no problem at all so you've got everything let's go and do the house because then i can take you into the garage after that so i'm just going to kick my shoes off so fantastic hallway massive cupboard just there um, we're going to go into the sitting room i mean there's just oodles of character in this house absolutely oodles beautiful beautiful fireplace can you imagine snuggling up here in front of a wood burning stove again more storage underneath the stairs so here we have the dining room fantastic shape it's definitely quirky in its shape plenty of room in here i mean you could use it as anything really if you're working from home you could certainly be using that and the kitchen with the range, good range of basin wall units, under covered lighting, little pantries there, uh, oil fired central heating, um, so no gas in the village. I'm going to go on up the stairs now. So it's a townhouse really, it's on three floors. Um, so the first floor. Good size bedroom. I mean, really huge bedroom. Two windows overlooking, and this has an ensuite bathroom or ensuite loo rather. Um, but useful for visitors. I've got to take you into this bathroom because it's just stunning. Look at that bath. It's amazing. Look at that shower. It's huge. Rainfall shower. Plenty of pressure in the boiler to do all that sort of thing. And another bedroom just here. So again, plenty of room, probably small double. Um, but you've got plenty of, uh, you know, obviously where the fireplace would have been, you can put wardrobes. So again, up to the top floor. So up here, there's sort of a bit of storage space, I guess, if you wanted to put a desk, a little children's play area. And then, I love this wallpaper. Love this wallpaper. Stunning dual aspect room. Again, a double room with the Velux. It's just so light and airy. It's beautiful. And then again, another beautiful double room. Really stunning. Really stunning. And you can look out. So the village shop is just out here. And you can see. They are having a little fair, I don't want a little fair, but they're doing book shares. Right, we're going to go back downstairs again because I want to show you the annex. So although you've got plenty of accommodation in the house, you have also got the potential to create an annex or a workshop um, in the garage. What was the garage? It's not actually a garage because it doesn't have the doors to get into it. Bear with me. Okay, in we go. So, you've got a utility room just here with a cloakroom in this. So there is plumbing and electricity already here. Uh, boy, oh, fridge there, plenty of storage. And then look at this huge space. Okay, I'm going to start from one side and pan all the way around. You've already got windows in here, you've got fabulous beams. You've got double doors, you know, that's just crying out for French windows. Just stunning. Plenty of potential. 